Hello, everyone. This is Alexander with the California Freedom Alliance. Today, I'm going to be talking about the new Tuolumne County Vegetation Ordinance, which we're all going to be paying for. So basically, the Board of Supervisors is trying to vote on a new vegetation ordinance, which will basically fine people for not cutting their grass uh, in a big way. The fines are going to be very heavy, so this is going to hurt the very elderly who can't afford to have their grass cut and are incapable to cut it themselves. So this is just going to generate a lot of income to the county government. And uh, also what this is doing is basically for every private property this applies to, but this does not apply to the county government, the federal government or the state government. And the main reasons why I watched uh, at the county meeting, one of the county employees was speaking and making a presentation of why this is such a good idea, because this is gonna reduce fires uh, and you know, Tuolumne County won't burn down uh, like when, when the Rim Fire happened or the Washington Fire. But the big thing that, you know, blew my mind is that this doesn't, you know, affect county property. The county doesn't have to cut their own grass. So it's an oxymoron abuse of power. The federal government doesn't have to, neither does the state government. And that's where all the fires are starting. Uh, that's where the Rim Fire started. Uh, for everybody's information, the Rim Fire was a massive wildfire that started in a remote canyon in the Stanislaus National Forest in California. And also the Washington fire was started by the homeless on government property as well. Uh, so this is just putting a big bill on, uh, you know, us average folk and uh, the government's going to get richer and we're going to get poorer, but uh, they're not going to be doing anything themselves. And this actually shows a map of Tuolumne County. So this uh, pink land is P, which means public land. And this green land is also, uh, or some of it is also uh, public land as well. But you see that most of Tuolumne County is actually uh, federal or state land or county land. So just little splotches where people actually live in the zoning. Uh, you can look this up. You know, this is Yosemite National Park. So this really isn't solving any of the problem uh, because we have a pretty big fire service and they've been really good about stopping these fires on private land. And um, they also cited the Paradise Fire of how that burned down the whole town of Paradise. Uh, but that actually started in you know the big wilderness and it was able to get really hot so where they couldn't stop it. So instead of the county uh, forcing us to pay these huge fines uh, for what we wanna do on our own property, uh, I think uh, they should be trying to get the federal government and the state government to uh, manage their forests, sue them for potential uh, fire losses or something. Uh, so they actually manage the forests uh, so we don't have a big fire. And uh, it's just really scary, this ordinance, because another thing that is gonna happen is that it's not just your own property that you have to do. It's up to a hundred, um, like either a hundred feet or a hundred yards. It might've been a hundred yards, uh, but either one of those on the other side of the fence line, if your house is, um, you know, close to the border of someone else's property. So basically that means is that you have to do your neighbor's property too. Uh, so this is just uh, completely crazy. It's just a good way to uh, pretty much uh, bleed us dry a new tax. Uh, they're going to be writing a whole bunch of citations. And uh, this isn't solving the problem either. Uh, Blitz said the draft ordinance was close to 40 pages, uh, and now it's whittled down to currently six pages. So, and she emphasized the new ordinance is the first uh, of its kind for the county. And also, this is actually going higher than the state laws. So this is uh, pretty crazy. That's going even worse than, you know, California already has really high regulation. So I believe everybody should be against this because this is the hoard hurting the poorest of us. It really is. Uh, because, you know, the wealthy, they can they can afford to have their grass cut and they might have the time. But some people have, you know, acres and acres of land, uh, you know, that they can't cut. And at the same time, they're having the climate action plan, which is uh, going to get rid of, um, you know, cattle grazing and, and stuff like that. And I'll talk about that in another video. But please call your county board of supervisors. Please, everyone. This is a crazy idea. If this passes, it's completely nuts. It's just a way to get more of your money, your hard earned money. Uh, and please share this video with all your friends so they're informed, speak out against this in the next county meetings. This is really important or you're going to be getting fined up the wazoo. 
unfortunately. So thanks again for watching. I hope you all have a good day and God bless you.